Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your man, Myron Thomas Sr., back here with another edition of Swear Entertainment. Sorry I haven't done a video in a while. A lot of stuff has been going on and everything else. But hey, this is birthday month. Hey, uh, listen, I got 46 subscribers. I just need four more subscribers to hit 50. My goal, I would love to see 50 subscribers by 50. So, you know, in about three weeks, about two and a half, something like that, three weeks, I'll be turning 50. So, hey, listen, like, comment, and all, and most importantly, subscribe. Today in the NFL, I'm talking about the NFL today. The NFL, right, the playoff picture is starting to shape up, and it is get, it's getting crazy. Everybody knows I'm a New York Giants fan. Giants lost big to Philly today, which was... It was a hard game to watch. It was really, really a hard game to watch. I said, I mean, it was like, it was like Philly, Philly was just doing what they wanted to do at will. It was just, you know, the Giants are not there yet. You know, um, the Giants are not really a come from behind, high explosive uh, team. They're not. Let's keep that real. They're not. They're not that team that can turn around here and score at, at, at will and, and turn around here and put up, you know, come do a, you know, two, three score, you know, uh, well, I would say the two or three touchdown uh, score, de you know, down deficit and, and really come back and do it. They, they don't have the weapons. The offense, the team is not really designed to be that way. It's more of a defensive team, more of a just grind it out, being able to turn right here and be able to score points when they have the ball. You know, stuff like that is not, you know, it's not high power at all. And if they get down two, two, two or three touchdowns, basically, you almost could, it's sad to say, but you almost could say game is over. Game over. It's not, they're not going to turn around here, you know, by some miracle. Now, if they're down maybe 10, maybe have a shot. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 14, maybe you can turn around here with the defense, make some plays and stuff like that. It probably could work out. But other than that, it's, it's not, you know. Um, and that's basically Philly ran away with this game. They started off the drive and everything else. They first two drives, two touchdowns. And it just, you know, you know, you have to play the way Philly is playing right now. You have to play a perfect game in order to beat them. The only reason why Washington beat them is because they control the time of possession. They had long drive, 12, 13, 14 play drive. It kept Philly's offense off of the field. And that's the only way that you really truly beat them. Is that you're able to sustain and you know long drives like that, you know what I'm saying? And the Giants are really not that. I mean, they can do that, and they they showed that on one on one drive on the touchdown on, on one uh, drive, but it's not something that they can sustain all game long, you know. Um, and that's what it was. That's what it was, and it was heartbreaking to watch. Um, shout out to my dude Torek, who who's a big Philly fan. He texted me, so, so it's like men against boy. I said, yeah, I, I know. It's just we ain't there yet. I couldn't. It was hard to watch, you know. Um, and in other games, I mean the the playoff picture is shaping up pretty well. I'm looking at my phone now. Uh, Buffalo just won today, so they're at ten and three. They're sitting up on top of their division, looking good with Miami, who just lost to the Chargers today, which actually puts Buffalo in a better position to turn around here and win the division. Well, I think, again, I think they won the division again uh, last year. The AFC North is turning out to be, a, a, it's going to be a competition between uh, Baltimore and Cincinnati. Even though with Lamar Jackson out, Baltimore is still grinding wins out. And it's, 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 uh, it's amazing. And we got it. Ooh, brownie. Mo. Mo. Right? And uh, with the Browns and Pittsburgh both sitting at five and eight, their, um, their playoff hopes are basically gone. 
basically they're looking at next year. And so it's, you know. Ooh. <laughs> for both of those teams. It's basically next year. It's basically next year for the team. Give me this. Give me this. I, you see, I got this brown here again. Anybody know brownie? Anybody, anybody that's watching any of my videos, they know it's brownie. Uh, in the AFC South, right? <laughs> I think Tennessee just. Uh, the funny part about it with these last remaining games and stuff like that, actually. Jacksonville could turn around here and actually turn around here and win the division. You know what I'm saying? And everything goes to turn around here, going eight and eight. I mean, or nine and eight. Turn around here and win these last couple of games. Right? Boom! Boom! The AFC West, we already know that's Kansas City's division. So look at this. Move! Go over there. Over there. That's Kansas City's division. We even with the Chargers winning today and including the 76. I don't believe that they are turning around here and uh um, and Move. Dog. Move. 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 Right. Now on to the AFC. I mean NFC. Ah. Move. <laughs> right. Hold on one second. Move. I said move. I said move. That's what happens when you have a dog. <laughs> Philly just clinched the playoff spot with their win today. So, right. More than likely, I, I don't, I mean, unless Dallas makes a big push. Uh, they, because uh, actually, hold on. Did. And they end up beating the Texas. So they improve. They improved the 10 and 3, which the trick up part about it is that the Giants can still make the playoffs as a as last wild card spot. But here's the fun part is they have to win out. Well, they definitely will have to win against Washington next week. Definitely against Washington. Because I think our next three, the Giants' next three games are Washington, uh, Washington, Minnesota, and uh, Indianapolis, and then play Philly again at the end of the year. So now it, it really boils down to the right here that out of the last next four games, you got to do at least three or four. Three out of the four games, you got to win. You know, and also on my channel, you probably have turned around right here. I will be doing a, a video actually from uh, MetLife Stadium for the Giants Indianapolis game. So, you know, stay tuned to my channel and uh, be looking out for that. In the NFC North, this is Minnesota's division to lose. They are at 10 and 3. Um, only thing that the Lions can really hope for at this juncture is that last wild card spot. Which, because they won today, they turn around here. They are now in that top seed in that hunt. So they can turn around here. And these, la these next last four games really determines 
not really division leaders, but really determines uh, the wild card spots and how they fall for the, uh, the playoffs. The NFC South is this year's NFC East, how it was last year. With Tampa Bay, even with them losing today, they, they go from six and seven with Carolina breathing down their neck at five and eight. So we're looking at possibly a team that's being, again, being below 500, winning a division and, you know, being in the playoffs. You know, just like last year. And, um, and then in the NFC West, right, with San Francisco winning, it kind of put them, gave them a little bit of cushion. But we got Seattle breathing right down their neck at 7-6. and six. Like I said, these last four games really determines for some, like the NFC South and the NFC West, it really puts a, a, a position on whether or not who wins their divisions and also who puts it in there for that last wild card spot, for that wild card spot. So I got a lot. These next four games are gonna be real, real good to watch to see how they play out and who's gonna be in this year's playoffs. You know, um, you know, um, around this time of year, I wanna, uh, I turn around here and I try to, uh, I, I love this time of year because it really, this is when football gets serious to me. This is when football gets serious when it comes down to playoff positioning and. Play, um, stuff like that and everything else. I love this time of year uh, with football. All the rest of the year would be great. You watch the games and all this type of stuff. But now when these games have meaning, you know what I'm saying, it makes it all that much, much more fun to watch for me. But like I said, uh, we'll see. Uh, I didn't catch too much of... I, I, I'll be doing another video tomorrow. Uh, also because I have an unboxing uh, I have to do um, tomorrow, um, which I might be doing that unboxing uh, from work. Um, and, you know, um, but then also I got to uh, to the right here, I got to watch some games. Like, for instance, I did, like, um, I got to see, uh, I'm going to check out, um, See. Okay. Deshaun Watson was uh he didn't have to for the uh, Browns. I I I know that uh, I speak to a lot of Browns fans and they were um super excited that uh the Browns had got rid of Baker, Baker Mayfield and Turned around here and went with um went with Deshaun Washington, which I I have been on here to say that yes, I think that that was a mistake. Um, I thought they should stay with Baker Mayfield at least gave Baker another good four year, healthy year in this system, a system that he knows and and I believe that he could have thrived in. Um, to go with a quarterback that really, you know, um. I'm not saying he's not a good quarterback. I'm just saying that, you know, to me, he's just not proven. You know, um, that he's not, you know, it's different when you have a quarterback like uh, Jimmy Garoppolo or somebody of that caliber or, you know, um, a Russell Wilson or somebody of that caliber that has seen playoff football, that has been – you know, to a Super Bowl and or has been at least to a conference championship game and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I think those those factors matter when you want to give somebody two hundred some two two hundred and thirty million dollars. You know, so it's um you know, I think that plays a part and he has not done either. You know, he didn't either for you. He had some good years. You know and everything else, but he's still, you know, in my opinion, still he's not a $215 million, I mean, $230 million quarterback. You know, but hey, that's near there. He signed the contract. He's a blue round for the next five years. 
And hopefully, hopefully we see at least two AFC championship games. Not this year, but at least, hopefully, at least, you know, can be able to be competitive, be able to be one of the top teams in the AFC, to be able to compete with the likes of Buffalo, Kansas City, Cincinnati, you know, and, and my shoot, right, with the way it looks like it, Miami, um, and stuff like that. And even Baltimore, if Lamar Jackson's healthy. Lamar Jackson, a healthy Lamar Jackson plays a big part in Baltimore's success. So we also got to compete with Baltimore, you know. So these are the teams you got to the right around here consider when you be like, hold on, you know, are we going to be competitive within, you know, not just our division, but also in our conference to be able to get to that ultimate goal, and that is to get to that Super Bowl. You know, um, but, you know, I, I would say it's still a little rusty and everything else that this, that these last couple of games are more or less, like, I, I would say preseason games for him because basically he hasn't played for two years. And just turn around here and, you know, for the Browns, hopefully, you know, everything works out for next year, you know, for the next season, you know. Um, but other than that, you know, but like I said, hey, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be putting this on my Instagram page, uh, which is Big Myron Sr. Uh, I'm also be putting this on uh, Facebook. If you want to look me up, it's under Myron Thomas Sr. Um, and uh, if you uh, actually, if you look up my name, you'll be looking for the picture with me with my mother. Uh, it's in a graduation picture. Um, because I, I got kind of locked out. I forgot the password of my old uh, Facebook page. And so I don't have those. Uh, I'm not, uh, I don't have access to that account. So um, if you want to find me, those are my two uh, social media pages. And other than that, hey, I'm out of here. Till next time. Peace.